hi everybody again, Mopsy here, and I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year and ready to start uh, your stitching in 2017. So here we go. What I have on screen here is a design from Catherine at Bugalina, great site, and my friend Shirley is asking, um, is wanting to do this in her 6x10 singer hoop. And at the moment, Catherine offers it as a single or a three up in a five by seven hoop, but to um, minimize waste on the vinyl, uh, Shirley, as I say, wants it as a five up. So that's what this video is going to be about today, how to do um, a five up or repeating the design. So here we go. I'm going to open up my Singer software and I'm going to go straight to my design browser and as you can see I have an awful lot of Bugalina designs, love them. So on the screen here what we're looking at is all the file types that Catherine provides and so as it's not as confusing I'm going to click, sorry, click the down arrow or click anywhere on this line and I'm going to say only show me the PES files in this case. I could have used XXX, Husqvarna, it doesn't matter. Um, and here we now have on the screen three designs, two singles and a three up. And if you're not sure or not aware of what they are, um, the first one is the one in the 4x4 hoop. And we can see over here that it's um, 3.8, 3.8 inches. Um, just over 4,100 stitches and it's on the angle for a 4x4 four four hoop as opposed to this one which is a single for the 5x7 hoop which as you can see is just a little bit larger it's just over 5 inches part of that is because the other one's on the angle but you can see this has 4,300 stitches so just a little bit larger and this is the one I'm going to, to, to select so I'm going to open that and there we have it on the screen. Now, last thing I want to do is overwrite one of Catherine's beautiful designs. So I'm going to do a file, save design as, and I'm going to call it, um, oh, what am I going to call it? Um, breathe five up and LH for large hoop. And I'm file type I'm going to save it as a Futura home embroidery file that way I'm not going to mix it up with anything else and so I'm going to say OK and there we have it on the screen isn't that a gorgeous design so next thing what Shirley wants is to do this five up in the hoop so I'm going to come up to design on the menu and I'm going to ask to repeat the design and the options we get are to repeat it horizontally or vertically, so either across or down. I want it vertically, and I want it, or Shirley wants it, five times. So there we have it, five times in the hoop. And they're awfully close together like that. So what I want to do is offset them, and the program has does that automatically. If you can see over here, if I click this icon, you can see what it's done. It's offset the um, oh, offset the designs there um, which is good and there are other things I need to need to do but at this moment I want you to see what the problem that Shirley's having and, and what other people have I'm going to say okay to this I know it's wrong but I want to prove and show you why it's wrong on the menu I'm going to center the design and then I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's happened. Yes it's offset the design but what it's done is it's flipped and mirrored the design rather than rotating it and as you can see it says just breathe up here um, but here the writing is backwards. I hope you can all see that and how it's wrong. The other thing is Look how many blocks we've got. If I lift that up, 20 blocks. Because what it's doing at the moment, or what it would do at the moment, is the first tab, then the second, then the third, with all the changes between. We don't want that, so 
close it, save it, no thank you. And I'm going to start again. There's the FHE file, just a single one on the screen. So I'm not overwriting Catherine's file. I'm going to come and come up to repeat design again on the menu. I still want it five times on the screen. I still want it offset, but I want it rotated so I can read the writing. So that's what this button is for. If I click this, I don't know if you can see because I know it's very small. It, the writing is now the correct way around. It's just rotated it rather than flipped it. And the other thing I need to do, if you remember, I had 20 blocks. I don't want 20 blocks. I want to, to keep the colours in sequence. So I'm going to check this little box here um, for the colour sequence and say OK to that. Design, centre the design in the hoop. And there we can see the five. Let me zoom in a little bit. Five in the hoop. And they're just a little bit close together. I'd like a little bit more room to trim between and I can see that I've got a little bit more space available in the hoop and this is where people get frustrated and oh I'm going to do it again I'm going to close it do I want to save that no I'm going to open it again and come to my repeat design five times I want to offset it I want to flip it I want the color sequence but this time the distance between them, I want them a little bit larger. Now, in this instance, if I say one, it's going to give me the distance of one of the designs. And you can see how much it spaced it out. I know that's going to be too large. That's going to kick it into multi-hoop mode. So I don't want it that big. I'm just going to say 0.1 of a distance and say OK and then center the design again from the menu. Now this time, here we go, I can see that it's correct. Let me zoom in. So we have just breathe, and we have it the right way round. I've got it up against the stitchable area in my hoop. There, let me zoom out. I've also got only four stitch blocks. And I'm going to save that. That's what I want. But herein lies one last problem. Um, it's not really, it's not really a problem. But if I come into my redraw mode, let's see what happens. Oops, way too fast. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Redraw. So only a little bit faster, but not too much. So here we go. Let me move this out of the way. It stitched the first block. And when it gets to the bottom one, um, I'm sorry, oh. let me try that. I'm missing things that I clicked the wrong button. I do apologize. Redraw, start again, ignore, ignore that last little bit. So it's stitching block one, and as it gets down to the bottom we're going to get a huge jump stitch going from there all the way up to the top for it to start the second block. If I go to the end of the second block and continue, it's a huge jump again all the way up to start the third block. Okay. Um, yes, we know on our singing machines that that is going to create a, a problem for us. And so all I do is watch my machine and when it gets to the end of the first block, when it gets down to the last part of the block, I'm going to stop my machine as it does that last block stitch. I'm going to lift up my foot, I'm going to ease the thread, do whatever necessary, fast forward using my needle up and down button so I go to the top of the hoop without putting any pressure on the needle and then I'm going to stitch block two. And as it stitches down and it gets to the end of block two, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stop my machine. I don't want that long um, jump stitch from the uh, front to the back of the hoop there. Yes, I could spend the next two or three hours rearranging all these blocks so I get it in a better stitch order, but there's absolutely no point in doing that. I know it's going to have 
three long jump stitches and it's not worth two or three hours of my time messing around with it for three jumps which I know are going to be there I just have to nurse this machine watch it and stop the machine at the appropriate time so I can adjust for the uh, for the jump so I'm going to realistic view I'm going to zoom in just to show you what a gorgeous design this is so hopefully Shirley that's helped you maybe it's helped a few other people don't get frustrated just keep practicing and playing with it until you get it right and if I if I wanted if I wanted to be really choosy I could pick up this whole block here and I could move that over to this side of the hoop and it will give me just a little bit more more room I could do that the same with with all of these but this is just messing around and being being fussy it's up to you if you want to do that it is going to give me a little bit more room maybe save a little bit of vinyl in larger um, sizes larger scrap sizes um, here we go um, which I could use maybe for some little appliques or appliques so here we go let's view that back down 50% so all I've done there is just move them side that's a choice it's optional you don't have to do it I'm going to save it again and it's ready to go to stitch on my machine so anyway take care everybody and I say apologize for not being around so much recently but hopefully I'll get um, better and all back into the swing of it too um, take care everybody bye